Another significant update in Adobe InDesign launched recently. Powered by Adobe Firefly, the new Generative Expand feature uses AI to extend and add more content to missing areas of an image. In this tutorial, I'll go over how to extend the areas of an image to fill a frame and choose one of the generated options. So let's jump right in and start creating. Let's start by adding the image to the frame. I'm going to make my way up to File and Place. And here's the image I want to use for my recipe card layout, spicytofu.jpg. I'm going to go ahead and click open and that drops the image right into that frame. Now the frame itself is square and the image is more landscape. To solve this problem, of course, I can use my fitting option so I can click on fill frame proportionally as an example. But you can see that the dish is far too big. And let's just say I want some negative space around the dish so it stands out a little bit more. This is where the new Generative Expand feature comes in handy. To access the Generative Expand, just open the Text to Image panel, which I already have located here in my dock. You can access it by going to Window and Text to Image Beta. And you can see with the frame already selected, I have the option here to Generative Expand. The other way of accessing the Generative Expand tool is in the Contextual Taskbar by going to Window and contextual taskbar. So either one of these options will work. If I click generative expand, you can type in a prompt to fill in the space, the areas in this image, or you can simply leave it blank and click generate. That will take a few moments to generate three variations and we can have a quick look to see what the result is. In the text to image panel, you're presented with three variations. There's the first, the second, and the third. And if you're not happy with the results, you can always click generate again to generate three more variations. Let's see what it comes up with. Here are three more options to choose from. There's the first, the second, and the third. And here's another cool thing. If I go up to my links panel, you'll see that the gen AI image underscore four is attached is linked to this document. So the original image that we placed, that spicy tofu, is overridden with the AI image. And that will update in the links panel based on the version that you choose. So if I go back to links, it updates to gen AI image underscore two. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use the newly integrated generative expand feature in Adobe InDesign. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this powerful AI tool. Until next time, take care and keep creating.